Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to put together our axle arm that we did for uh, tests, or for the Tuesday's test. And uh, we did one for Monday's test and Tuesday's test, but uh, I think Tuesday's test is a little bit more complicated. And it's just an, an example of what you can do in some of the um, procedures in regard to putting your model together and using some of the basic uh, dimensions that you see here in this sketch. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can actually do some extrudes and then do cuts to those extrudes and put in some feature fillets and have about three or four different features in order to drive the design here. What I like to do and a preferred method I think with a lot of people is to put all that information, all that uh, model geometry into one sketch. Kind of like a one-stop shopping sort of thing. You just go to the sketch, uh, the initial sketch that drives the base feature and you have a lot of the dimensions, uh, a lot of the uh, the model geometry is associated with that feature all in that one sketch. As you can see here, everything that's uh, just about everything except for the thickness and maybe some of these hole locations and a uh, linear pattern feature and the hole wizard here, a lot of the other uh, geometry associated with models all embedded in the sketch. And that's kind of like what I like to show you how to do. So, there's a couple different ways we could do all that sketch geometry. You can see in here what looks to be what we could probably put together as a slot tool and uh, we could probably do that as a sketch entity, a slot sketch entity and maybe another one down here and then try to combine the two or the second method is just to go out and start drawing some of these lines and uh, maybe an initial hole over here for a whole uh, location for our, uh, linear, for our linear pattern for that hole and if we do that, if we just do a series of lines and arcs and lines and arcs as we go around this thing it actually comes together pretty well you want to consider that when we start this you probably want to put the the origin right down here in the middle we use this as our initial hole down here in the bottom we'll put the origin down here so it shares uh, some relationships with this feature that comes off of the left hand side and the feature that goes up straight from that so without any further delays let's put that aside and start drawing so I have my right plane I have my uh, model already uh, uh, saved so I'm about ready to go to sketch so we'll start with sketching. Let's uh, do the slot tool first and we're going to pick the right plane and if it doesn't go normal to you let's go ahead and uh, make it normal so we can see what we're doing. So with the slot tool it might be convenient just to pick the middle and remember we want to go up about five inches so we're going to go up about five inches and then pull that out. One advantage of the slot tool is it does a lot of the sketching for you so it has the, the sides, the top, and the bottom we're not going to use, but it has all that together that we can actually use uh, for our geometry. So let's go ahead and uh, click on uh, the origin and not that point, but the circle itself and put it in the dimension that we want. We're going to make that five inches, at least for now. But let's go back to that dimension, go to leaders, and what we want to do is actually uh, identify the very top of that arc rather than the center of the arc. This is the reason why we chose the arc uh, as a dimension reference rather than the center of that because it allows us to do a maximum uh, position of that dimension. So now we're going to type in 5 in that. We're going to make this uh, 1 inch in, uh, in width. So it's all black, which is, which is nice because part of it's uh, defined to the origin and the two other dimensions help define that. What we don't want is this arc in the bottom. So let's go to the trim entities. Let's trim that arc out. Now it's going to destroy it, so this operation will destroy the slot entity, and yeah, we do want to continue it, and all of a sudden uh, things don't look very pretty anymore. A couple things we're going to do, the slot entity comes to this point, this point is no longer attached to anything, so if you want your sketch to be fully defined, you probably want to get rid of that. These lines over here, even though it's one inch wide, uh, ooh, that's ugly. Uh, we're missing a lot of relationships. This is one drawback of the slot tool is that it loses a lot of the sketch relations that were built into it when you uh, take a portion of that slot tool out. So let's uh, yeah, let's start uh, let's start identifying this a little bit. So let's click these two vertical lines. We're going to make that symmetric. It's kind of like a mirror option. And yeah, there we go. We made this line over here uh, vertical, or this line is already vertical. So by making that symmetric may know two outer lines of vertical also. So we have a tangent relation up, relationship up here, so that kind of locked that up. So that's in pretty good shape. So let's draw the other one out. Let's not use a saw tool this time, but let's just go ahead and sketch it out. Let's, uh, since we're going to be a little bit above the origin on this, let's go ahead and sketch a little bit above that and uh, make a coincident relationship with that line. Draw a line out, and I don't know if you know this, but if you take out uh, your cursor and go back to that point, It'll allow you to draw an arc. 
which is really convenient. And then after that, you can go back and do the line. So let me show you how to do that again. Go back to the point you're trying to draw a line from. Again, and then when you draw back that, draw that back out, it goes to it goes to an arc. If you change your mind about the arc, you really can't do anything about it. Can't go back to the line. So I'm going to do escape and then enter again and put in that line. And let's do this. Let's take our trim tool, trim a nice sharp down here. We'll put in a, a regular fillet. And we'll trim that out. We'll trim this out too. And we'll start defining this a little bit better. So between these two lines here, which are not parallel, we're going to put in a uh, a dimension. This is a tangent arc or a tangent tangency from that arc to that straight line. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on us, and it doesn't. We're going to make these two parallel to each other. Now we're going to put a, a dimension between these two, and I believe that's three quarters of an inch. Okay, so let's put a uh, fillet down here in the bottom on that. It's going to be a quarter of an inch. Bang. And at the same time, we're going to do this one too. Both of those fillets are going to be the same. And then green chuck mark. Okay, a couple more dimensions before we get this done. 2.25 inches goes from perhaps this line or the origin and that point. Type in 2.25. We have a height, and we also have a distance between the origin and this point that defines uh, the edge of, or the center of that uh, arc on top. And that's going to be 0.5 inches. So there you have it. There's all the dimensions we need. You might want to line up these dimensions if you're going to put this into a drawing so it's actually readable. And add some additional annotations to it if you want. And in the next video I'll show you how to finish this.